come back. I had to jump in there. We'll jump in there. We are going to visit with Wanda Massengale. She is here with Rosie, who is, I don't, you're going to tell us what she is, yes. but you're representing the Ozark Humane Society. We're glad to have you on the show today. Thank you. Thank you for having Rosie and I. Rosie's four months She's old. Precious. She's the black and tan coon hound mix. Oh. She is just precious. <laughs> she is. She's so well behaved. She said it in either my lap or my friend's lap out there. And uh, she whined, and I took her outside, and she did her business. And she's four months old, and her adoption fee is $40. But Rosie has a kind of a sad hit story starting what is her out. Story? And uh, she is real healthy now. I'd like to point that out before I get to the, the past of Rosie. But she was a rescue from Marin County, her and her litter mates, and they were very sick. They had parvo. They were wow. worms, um, starved, very bad. And as you can see, the She's Humane Society crying. has taken a lot of time and money and saved Rosie and all Rosie. of the litter. They, so she is healthy now. She's ready for a adoption. And uh, I'm already in love with the little thing. She's just so cute and mm -hmm. so well. She's well short haired, so she no could. No shedding. Yeah. Yeah. And she's quiet. You know, she's really a quiet little thing. Hi, Rosie. But mm -hmm. uh, I uh, wanted to ask about how many pets have been adopted this year. I try to do that each time. Uh -huh. And so far, there's 521 dogs and cats. And in the month of October, there were 46. Yay. So that's really good. That's really good, yeah. And I also asked about the angel trees that the Humane Society does. And I knew somebody had an angel tree. I, it, <laughs> it's us. The angel trees will go up November 30th on a Monday, and they will be up at Nature's Wonders, Harrison Animal Clinic, Hudson's Grocery, and Calls for Paws. Well, tell people what that is if they don't know. The trees have envelopes on them with the picture of a pet and the person can take the envelope off and keep the picture of the pet and put either a donation in and turn it in there or mail it or take it down to Calls for Paws. Okay. And that's what that is. And it's no. just, there's no specified donation, no. just whatever you want no. to do. No, no. You know, if a child puts a dollar in, we're thrilled. Yeah. Because a lot of it, of course, we talk about the food, but I've had, I've saved a, a dog one time with Parvo, and that's very expensive. It's IVs to keep them hydrated. It's medicines, antibiotics. If you've ever been around Parvo, mm -hmm. it has a smell to it that is you just never forget. And mm -hmm. this little thing was really sick. Mm. And so it was a lot of money, and I'm sure the vet clinic, you know, if anybody wanted to go in there and put money on Harrison Animal Clinic mm -hmm. for the Humane Society, I'm sure it would help cover any what, donation. Any donation. But that's that's where a lot of the expense goes that people don't know about. You know, we talk about feeding and clothing and not clothing, but feeding and and bedding and housing right. for them and keeping them warm and and out of the out of, out of the elements. But but the medical issues and keeping them fed every day is the main and cost the of everything. And the warming, the warming, yeah. you know, and the flea and tick. I know that having one dog at my house, it's work. That's what I was going to say. You can think about the pets one. you may have at home. Just one even. And times that by however many. 85 or right. 90 or whatever they have out there. And, the, and there's, uh, they're always short staffed. Yeah. You know, just volunteers. Volunteer sure. time. Right. Well. I, Which is something that, that uh, if you're wanting to volunteer or, or you have time in your your schedule or your life you can and you love animals, it might be a good time to contact the Humane Society to be a part of that. What I they think do down Rosie's there. got a home. <laughs> May have. <laughs> but, you know, I, the Humane Society is closed two days. Well, it's closed to the public, but it's not closed to the animals. Someone right. has to be out there. <laughs> And they have to, you know, clean up after them and feed them and water mm -hmm. them and check on their health and, and socialize and just everything. And mm -hmm. the winter months are coming up, so I know that's probably requires maybe a little more maintenance sure. with keeping water not frozen and, and all that that goes with that. It does. And I did ask what they needed, and I was told they have hay and straw for bedding now. Good They've deal. Got Good. Plenty. Good. And I'm sure that has to do with both of you, to getting the word out there. 
but they need bleach, pine saw, rubber gloves, always laundry detergent, but they've got a lot of towels now and washcloths. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's good. When you say rubber gloves, are you talking about the reusable or just the throwaway? I, I, I don't, don't know. know. Okay. Maybe both. rubber gloves, yes. I mean, they might can use, you know, okay. but to, mm -hmm. I, I've looked in their facility and they have a room that they do use for the medical. You know, and and all that. Um, also, I asked about how many pets were fixed this year in the spay and neuter clinics, and I want to say in 2014 there were 150 dogs and 300 cats, and this year in 2015, 2015 192 dogs and 263 cats. And that's just, you know, the spay and neuter clinic, our veterinarians in this area, they do a ton of animals right. too, so yeah. that helps. Mm -hmm. And we are so fortunate to have wonderful vets in this area yeah. at all the yeah. clinics. <laughs> well, I probably need to mention this time of year is, is flea season too. We're going into the cooler months and the flea, fleas kind of get over an abundant supply, so make sure you either give your pet uh, the, 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 the monthly fee, flea and tick uh, Peel, or pill the, or the, the liquid on the back. The I used to think, stuff, you yeah. know, they were pretty safe during the winter, but I've been instructed that that can happen all year round. Mm -hmm. and, and I have a little dog and he came in the other day. He had, I hadn't doctored him yet. Well, his head got covered in fleas mm -hmm. just from being outside. Yeah. So I was like, okay. Yeah, but and you don't want that in your house, no believe way. me. No way. It, it's Fleas like love something. carpet and furniture and, yeah. and legs mm -hmm. and legs exactly <laughs> they, they wear might. your white socks you can see <laughs> you can see but well if you're interested in rosie you can contact the if you can uh, get Humane her away Society. from wanda yeah, yeah. <laughs> at 741-3050 is it yes, 30-3050 and just uh tell them that you saw it on uh, hometown tv k26 uh, k or xl7 and and the adoption fee is 40 dollars, and that's already covered her spaying and uh, she's been wormed and Shot. well Good taken care of. Shot. She's very <clears throat> sick here, very healthy. But there's been a lot of money put into this one to save her. So mm -hmm. it, whoever adopts her is just going to be And she's angel. loving. She's just uh, a loving little sweet thing. I've been around black and tans, and this is a very calm black and tan. That's good. Well, she, she has realized that all of the attention and comfort, she's just going to take advantage of that and just kick back and... Take it all in. Enjoy it, yeah. Thank you for having us. Thanks, on. Wanda. Thank we you. appreciate it. And we'd like to thank all the guests that have been on the show today. We had Jane Adair and Jean Johnson, and also Kathy Wilburn and John Birdside. And then we had um, Jules Stefanski and yeah. Daniel C. and Wanda. Appreciate you being here. Thank you. And you too, Dan. Thank you. It's and always a pleasure. And if you want to show up at my house on Thanksgiving, you may. But don't give me idle invite stuff. What about Friday? What's going on Friday? Not food. Leftovers. Yeah. Leftovers. That'll be all right. I'll I'll get hungry and I'll can I just do I need to call? You probably should. Yeah, really? Yeah. Do you keep your doors locked when you leave? Yeah. I, I like from you. Raid, raid from people like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do all actually, right. but thanks a lot. If you'd like to be on the show you can contact us here at seven four one four eight nine one or you can get on our Facebook page and just leave us a little note there. Hometown T V and you can go to our website, hometowntv.net, not .com or, or other dots, but it's .net. <laughs> for all of us here at Hometown Television, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Happy holidays. Happy Thanksgiving.